I'm Ryan Mackey, and I'm the head of the John R. Borchard Map Library at the University of Minnesota. Uh, we're talking about a campus history project that we launched just a few weeks ago. It's a web application. You can go in and click play, and you can see the building footprints for the university appear and disappear as buildings are torn down and built and renamed over the course of 150 years. We also now have the GIS data for the building footprints available, so any student who wants to um, or any researcher, anyone who wants to work with the data itself can get that from us. You can discover things that you didn't know were there. So uh, there was, for example, a building uh, called the Coliseum that is uh, current, the current location is uh, Sanford Hall, uh, one of the residence halls on the East Bank campus. It was only around for 10 years, and so it only appears on a couple of maps. We have also taken some of the maps that we used to create the building footprints and made them available on the website. So. There's a transparency slider, so you can fade the maps in and out, um, either against current satellite imagery or some of the historic aerial imagery we have up there as well, uh, or against the building footprints themselves to kind of get a, another view of how campus has changed. We also have historic aerial imagery layers, so you can compare them to each other or compare, say, 1940 to present day and see what buildings actually physically looked like from the air at that point in time. Uh, and in addition, we've added in a layer from the Metropolitan Council uh, so you can see the change in streetcars over time in the Twin Cities. People in history and humanities, uh, even in uh, just kind of general interest, will, will find this useful. In addition, landscape architecture and geography especially, they use areas on campus for studies because they're easily accessible to students. As long as we uh, had a time-aware data set, we added some images of Goldie Gopher over time that were also from the archives. So you can check a box and as the map, as the time slider on the map progresses, you can see what Goldie looked like at different periods in time.